Okay. So, uh, things are looking weird. But I've slept on it. And I think that this is the sort of thing I need to worry about. The thing that I keep on forgetting is that monkey, the language that I'm using, uses radiance for its uh, trig functions, of course, which uh, makes sense because it's used by grown-ups and I am a mathematical child and prefer angles uh, in uh, degrees. <coughs> so I am always working in degrees. Excuse my coughing again. I will learn to control that. And I certainly think that it's easier for the user to be controlling angles and degrees. So I need to do a conversion. Is everything else still working? Yeah, it looks like it. Yes, I see the snaps. Okay. So I need to think about degrees. Here's the maths module, or at least the wrapper for a monkey, and there it is, a tan 2 returns, reverse tangent in radians. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in my snapper code here, where I'm returning the nearest snap point. This is in radians, and these re receive angles in radians. My angle, this size, is in degrees. So this is about to get even uglier, because I'm just going to convert it to de radians here. Uh, not there, but here. And I'm going to put in another set of brackets because I'm obsessed. And then at the end of this, I'm going to take out a load of these brackets just to demonstrate to myself what it. Yeah, that it, this is not necessary. But anyway, so I have uh, two radians that just a constant. I have some very badly named constants. This g and g for g vector, g to radians. This is because these are things which I'm storing as part of my GUI because I ended up using them. And then the GUI, when I use the GUI, I end up using these classes. So I need to rearrange all of my own code, basically, so that a load of things which have the prefix g, like vector, matrix, vertices, they all actually um, become common to all my code. Oh, I'll stop going on about that. Anyway, I have this just stored 180 over pi, which I think is right. It's what I multiply a degree by to get a radian. So I think when I do that, I'm doing this in radians. I certainly hope so. I'm going to just run it again and see. Okay, not a lot of improvement. Why is that? Let me turn off grid and off this. Right, well, I mean, I can still can see what's happening. Uh, the Y component isn't being changed at all. The X component does. It gets slightly... Alright, look, the X component is basically how far I am from the point in my Y direction. The closer I get to the point, the lower the Y component becomes. And actually, this alters the Y component as well. 
Okay, what on earth is going on there? I meant to leave that running. I'll just run it. Uh, I'm going to compile it again because that's the quickest way to get it compiled. Uh -huh. Okay, so this wasn't the only problem, obviously. Okay, well, first off, I see one problem. Do I? Oh, yeah, I know that's. <laughs> well, I see one problem. This should be two degrees. Okay. I'm making it even more of a radian than it previously was like. It wasn't enough of a radian. Is that right? Angle two degrees. I don't think I'm getting that right, am I? Okay. I was getting it right. I was getting it right there. What on earth, though? You see, I, that's not quite right, is it? Sorry, I'm, this, it's more confusing. This is getting close to being right. It's more confusing because there are two spots. But there, uh, no, it's not really right. I think I'm going to have to convert everything to angles to satisfy in my mind something. So, this is annoying, but I'm going to just spell this out. I just don't think I can think about it in radians. Uh, so I'm going to convert this straight times g two degrees. Then I'm going to do this sum, and I'm going to convert it back to radians for the cosine. And I'm going to write this sum out again, because it's become stupid. I'm going to say, I'm dealing in degrees now. I, my size is assumed to be in degrees, and now I have the angle in degrees, I think. He said equals, now I am going to say the float of all this, times size. And what all this will come down to is the integer of the angle plus the size divided by 2. Now, <laughs> below is hideous, above is much pleasanter. Because I'm actually just doing what I think I really need to do. Let's have another look. Oh, stop, 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 stop. This needs to be put back into radians. Oops. Now, I'm beginning to doubt that I've got these... Uh, beginning to doubt that I've got these constants named correctly. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm looking at the sums again and just thinking, am I getting something really obvious wrong? Now look at that. Even worse. How on earth have I made it even worse? Okay, I'm going to have to start getting printouts of some of this stuff. Uh, in here, I'm going to do debug right angle plus TF A. TF is my little pretty rubbish truncated float uh, function. It returns a, a string. <laughs> so angle and new angle. It returns a string with a, a handful of uh, digits after the place by default 3, I think. Uh, default new angle. So, according to my brain, these should both be in degrees. We will see. Okay, first off, I'm going to do this. Now, I have to remember that I need to add one of these for now. I 
guess, to these all. Oh, and I need to turn this on. Not the length snapping, the angle snapping. Okay. Look at this. What do I see? When I select this point, trying to ignore the craziness that I see on the screen. I see down here, I see these numbers. Oh, it's a really confusing display, but there are a pair and one relates to this corner and one relates to this corner. And they're reading the mouse pointer and I have an angle of minus 44 and an angle of minus 135. Now that seems kind of right, but look at that new angle. That is an insane angle. The angle of minus 34 and minus 35, I'm keeping the mouse pointer here because those numbers are based on the mouse pointer, but uh, when I imagine the uh, the circle and all of the angles that surround this point with zero degrees leading out to the right here. Actually the negative angles I usually imagine going above the line. Uh, and that is not right. Why is it? Why is it stopped moving? Why is it stop moving? Okay. I don't think it did stop moving. I think I just got... I'm going to try that again. I thought those angles looked right. come down here and they become 41 and 138 which is positive to the north on the screen and I come up here and they become 376 so this ang this point is at about 3 degrees to where the mouse is right now this point about 173 degrees from where this mouse is now but the new angle obviously is gibberish, thousands and thousands of degrees. Let's have a look. A plus size divided by 2 times size. Now, that is basically what I'm doing everywhere else. And I thought, actually when I was doing it like this, I was getting it better. Let me look at GUI globals, to degrees, to radians. I've got another one here. I obviously thought these made more sense. Radfac. This, I'm pretty sure, is what you multiply a radian by to get a degree. Why don't I just absolutely check? Radians to degrees. One radian is 57 degrees. Hmm. Am I getting that totally wrong then? No, that's I am getting it right. I can go open a calculator. Look, there's one. Look there, I've done the sum already. 180 divided by pi is 57. For an approximate one radian equals 57 degrees. So, by multiplying the radian that I get out of arctan 2 by 57 degrees, I get the angle in 2 degrees, 2 degrees, yep. Yeah then I really should, shouldn't I?
I'm getting, am I interpreting all that right? Approximate result, multiply the angle by 57.29. One radian equals that in degrees. I want an angle in degrees, I get one in radians, I multiply it by 57 point something. I need to wrap it. But that shouldn't, I, don't, I think I need to wrap it, but I don't. also don't think that should make a difference. I don't know if that'll work. It's been a long time since I used that. Uh, and that's simply not right. Okay. I don't believe that that uh, could be the thing that makes the problem. Although actually now, no, it's not, and I'm not surprised. Although there is something right about it. There is something. There is something right about it, in that those divisions are 45 degree divisions. Uh, I want to see more of that. Five and 174 seems about right. Oh, I must be doing something so stupid here, and if anyone ever looks at this and is just screaming, then I apologize, you know. That's a really stupid thing to do. Uh, I don't know why I did it. It's because this is the sort of guesswork I sometimes do as an incompetent coder. Uh, right, you see, that is annoying that I do that and it starts to work. Now I don't understand. Oh no, it doesn't start to work, obviously. Uh, it's well out, isn't it? I really, like, I probably would be much better at maths if rather than basically guessing oops, didn't mean to, didn't mean to run that like that I meant to take out this angle wrap because I'm so baffled by the fact that taking that did I just make a mistake about arctan 2? I think I did actually I think it's the other ones that work in degrees. The wrap was not necessary. It's that my sum in this case is wrong. <coughs> and I'm glad the wrap wasn't necessary because that wouldn't make a lot of sense. But by how much is my sum wrong? And why is it so sort of consistently? out. It's out by 90 degrees. And it's never getting 180. Oh, that's annoying. Well, it is really annoying that because I had a feeling I was going to get a problem around this just because I'm not thinking clearly enough about yeah, I'm still getting huge angles, but that, like I say, the wrapping didn't make a difference to it, which is makes sense because the sine and cosine functions should take <laughs> numbers larger than the equivalent of 360 in gradient and radians. Anyway, let's have a think. I suppose I might just have to go through this. I suppose I will. Let me see. See if my pen is working today for starters. Seems to be. Let's see. What is it? that this thing kind of gets. Um, right. 
I consider the mouse pointer the part that's actually fed into this method by the draw function. And I consider this a uh, predecessor corner in the example that I just looked at. And there are the axes, more or less. Well, actually, I'll extend them out here because the first thing I figure out is this. Uh, YD and XD. And then I use that in Arctan 2. So let's imagine what this setup is, whatever the origin is. Uh, let's say there's uh, an actual real origin down here. So this origin is something like uh, 1, 2, I'll try and make this more or less. That's not very good, but. Oh. I drew this such that the origin here is going to be 3,2. And the origin here is going to be 6,4. So that's a very boring kind of set, but doesn't matter. No, the origin, the actual mouse pointer, effectively, that's passed in in world space. So the first thing I do is say in x minus origin x, 6 minus 3 equals 3. In y minus or origin y, 4 minus 2 equals 2. In x minus origin x, in y minus origin y. Um, then I say the angle is arctan 2 with these passed in, and so I'm actually going to check two, uh, 2, comma 3, and that does work that way around. Arctan 2 takes y then x. What's the simplest way? Like, that was me printing out TFA. So, if I can, uh, ugh, you know what I'm just going to do? Uh, a tan to, there is a better way to do this, isn't there? It's like, I want to, I've never quite I'll leave that as a I'm going to uh, rem this out for now I've never quite um, decided the way I'm absolute happiest with uh, just printing a single piece of information uh, a What did I say that was? 2,3. Like, just to see for sure what a single command will do. Okay. Open, 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 close, close, close. I hope I didn't do something there that would screw this up. I just want the piece of information here. I end up running my whole code to find out one number. Da -de -da -de -da. Not point five eight eight. Okay. Eight and two, two comma three returns not point five eight eight. Now, you see, then I just do this as if the angle Oh, I've made so many mistakes here and I actually am going to correct them 
because this is actually 3 negative 2 and this is 6 negative 4 and it seems annoying but I am going to correct them uh, 4 minus negative 2 negative 4 minus negative 2 is, of course, negative 2. Uh, sorry, that took so long. I hate these things, so I always double-check myself about 10 times in my mind. Negative 4 minus 2 would be minus 6. 4 minus 2 would be 2. 4 minus... okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, this is actually negative 2, 3, which I will, for the sake of it, compile my entire new code. I'm more baffled by this not working now. It'd be nice if it compiled quickly to when I just change a single number from positive to negative. It's asking a bit much, I suppose, to get it to go really quickly. So there, negative 0 0.58. That's, uh, that's fine. It's more or less as uh, expected negative. And uh, it means that I am right in my assumption that negative numbers in this uh, axis arrangement, negative angles, do go above the horizontal line. So anyway, this is what equals that, but in a way that's not less baffling to me because I, my understanding is that I am representing this size in uh, uh, degrees. The thing that I passed in here is that number that's set here. So how is it that I've got this tiny number but this sum is giving results which are more correct I really don't understand that. Now if I put this back in and put this back in, it's all going to go crazy again and I'm going to have to run it again because I just need to remind myself what is it that it does under these circumstances? I'll go back to using my mouse. Yeah, it goes completely crazy. Angle. Now, the angle value, which is A, is accurate. Yeah, it's telling me the it's not accurate. It's uh, I'm doing this bit wrong for this one. In fact, <sighs> sorry. Okay. How have I managed to get it right here, where I say in x minus origin x? 6 minus 3 and this got this negative 0.588 uh, oh gosh, okay, for the sake of it minus 0.588 times what did we say that was? 57.29 57.29 57 such and such, I'll just stay multiply that by uh, sorry point five eight eight um, minus thirty three minus thirty three now my problem with this is to me that looks right 
it's minus 33 in this direction. The direction from this point to this point is something like positive uh, 1, I don't know, I guess I could figure it out by subtracting that from 180. Uh, you know, 47 minus 147, not minus, but positive 147, positive going under the line. Now, I'm wanting the direction from this point to the mouse pointer. If I... Oh, this is frustrating when the output stops working. Sorry for gibbering. Just run this again, and I'll go back to my mouse. Um, it looks. Oh, let me check it. Maybe I'm wrong about this actually. Yeah, there is a problem here, isn't there? I'm wanting this, yeah, no, no, that is right. Sorry, I'm trying to go over it in my mind. I'm wanting the angle from this point to the, to the mouse pointer. And from this point to the mouse pointer. And both of those angles, 7 degrees and 173 degrees, are positive. One is near uh, 0, as in this one, and one is near 180, as in this one. That is just accurate. So I am getting that sum right. How is this sending it off into space? So, okay, I'll just carry on with my sum. Where am I? Uh, so that is now minus 33 degrees. That's correct for this angle here. Uh, what do I do then? I do this crazy thing, which is new angle equals the float of the interval of this stuff. So let's just go through that. Size divided by 2. In this case that is... <coughs> I didn't... <coughs> Excuse me. It's really, really bad of me. Um, I'll just write it up here. New angle it is the float of the int of a plus size divided by 2 all, divi all multiplied by size. What? No, size is a float. 2.0 is a float. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. doing exactly the same. Almost. Ah, hang on, I'm not doing the same. I retyped this out, I did everything, but I didn't do this. Oh, that's so stupid of me. I was just about to go through all those sums, which I'm sure, I'm sorry to say, we're just going to bring me to the same conclusion as the grid and length ones, which is that this is the little sum to do, but I didn't, wasn't dividing it by size. Here I was dividing it by size, but everything else was probably wrong. Okay, right. Incompetent coding, what can I say? Just being inattentive. Ah, uh, okay. Earth am I looking at here? This is obviously still not not still working. In fact, I can hardly make sense of it. Into degrees, done in degrees, into radians. It's still a mystery to me. Oh, it's because I wasn't dividing by another large number. It was making it more accurate. Okay. 
right so that still obviously didn't work u angle int a plus size divided by 2 times size divided by size okay well now I'll keep on going with this then uh, so size divided by 2 is 22.5 uh, size equals 22.5 Div size divided by 2 size equals 45 uh, angle equals minus 33 so it's 22.5 that's the integer of minus 33 plus 22.5 uh, no, I realize it's embarrassing for me to do sums like this, but I kind of don't care because minus 10.5. So it's the actually the integer of minus 10.5, which uh, I'm assuming just does the usual int integer thing, which means it's minus 10. But to with no decimal point. But then I'm doing the next bit, which is uh, dividing by size, which is 45.0. And I am taking the float of that as well here. Ah, uh, I wonder if. No, that's. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Like, how many f times do I have to determine that I'm wanting to use a float? <sighs> if I put that there instead, my understanding is that divisions and multiplications are carried out in order. So this should still give me the float of this integer divided by size, so that this value remains a float. I, I just don't think that that's the sort of thing that really is making this size of problem happen. Yeah, no, I'm just getting the same kind of thing. And it's obviously, obviously really weird and wrong. Look at it. It's crazy. Okay. No, well that didn't make a difference. Probably, and I bet is that if I just take float out altogether, it makes no difference. Let's see. That what I get is exactly the same as what I was getting. which is which now. This lower one belongs to the left. Oh god. I don't know if it's worth trying to interpret that movement. Okay. So... Minus 10 multiplied or divided by 45 Sorry, I will just do it for the sake of it. Minus 10, oops, minus, divided by, see what I just did, 10 minus minus 10, 10 minus 10, divided by 45 equals minus 0 0.222, minus 0 0.222, uh, finally multiplied by 45, equals it's going to come back to 10 I'm getting this stuff the wrong way around I begin to see what the problem is here look at the way I do it here the integer of all that 
right. Uh, God, I wonder if loads of people saw that so obviously. Right. Oh, hang on, is that even the problem? No, it's not. That is right. It's because I'm taking the integer that's what is solving that. Does that make any... sorry, let me just follow this through. Because the way I'm thinking about this now, I am just going to get back to minus 10, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> sorry about this. I think I've got a bracket. I think I need a bracket here and a bracket on the outside of here. No. Not there, but there. I think that that is my problem. And <laughs> I shouldn't try to intuit these things, should I? It's like, yeah, this is the actual angle I want to consider, so that I'm sort of getting the closest angle as opposed to the lower angle. I need to add half the angle gap. And I want the integer of that angle divided by size. Uh, so it's the integer of that. Gosh. Right, let's have another go. I'm just so slow at maths. And uh, this is pretty much real time me trying to figure it out so I don't feel that bad. No, that is not right. Oh, I can't tell because there's two of them. It'd be really quite a lot easier if, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm beginning to think I'm starting to get this right. It took a long time and I'm sorry that it did. But this bit is kind of important. Because it would make it a lot easier for me to understand. Oh no. Actually, let's just have another think. I, uh, I'm wrong to say that. I can make it easier on myself without doing that. Adding a segment here. Should. Yeah. Look at that. All wrong. Yeah, I'm not adding the sign. Jingsman. Plus the sign of angle. Times all this again. Now I think I do need quite a lot of brackets here. I guess that the floats bit, the kind of my obsession about making this back into a float is probably relevant. But, okay, one more time. is a problem. Like it really thinks, unless I'm in a tiny little gap there, that's not right, is it? In fact, this is quite different. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha. -huh. This does seem to be working really differently. Like. I don't seem to need... I'm getting the wrong answer. And... Oh! <laughs> no surprise. The brackets will be... the end of me. And it needs to be this all these brackets and I actually think I 
kind of do need them all. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having to do the pieces in order and I'm not even explaining exactly what I'm changing here. It's just uh, as I realise these sums are not being done correctly. Like that is more like it. 45 degrees jumping to the nearest 45 degrees, including 180. Yeah, the angle, I can see that angle changing down here. Zero, minus 45, minus 90, minus 135, 180, 135, 90, and back to 180. Beautiful. Let's try uh, 22.5. Did I get that right? Yeah. And look at that. Tick, 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 like the hands of a clock. And it goes all the way in and all the way out. Okay. Wow, wow. And why not turn them all on and be baffled by the leaping points? There's the length snap. And look at that length snap going in tandem with the... Because they're both a hundred, that's just... That's exactly how I want it. Now, I am going to do the thing about snapping to a radius. And that will mean that I don't have to have both lengths. It looks really confusing. All those spots are not going to appear. They're just there to indicate that my uh, snapping routine is looking for uh, it's identifying the correct nearby snapping points. Like I say, all the code that runs this is about to change. First off, I'm happy with that. Secondly, I will remark out this and I'll remove this and I'll remove this. So in the end, I did I am converting all the way to degrees, doing it, converting all the way back. I suppose that now I've kind of figured this out, maybe I could just do a conversion to radians here. I think it's exactly the same, so... So yeah, yeah, I will, but uh, I will just do it like this. Oops. where I'll take out that and in here I will put in times g two degrees and I'll take out these so now I'm just having to do one transformation this doesn't matter because the sign will be the same anyway uh, and this should be g to radians. Because my angle no uh, why am I getting so no okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, my choices I'm now realizing that is in radians. <laughs> I talk about getting bogged down. Like I can uh, make a new... Ah, oh, I'm so frustrated. Because this is where I do get bogged down. Like my option here is I can make a new local. Because I'm using size three times here. And I actually need it in radians here, so I could multiply it by my two radians thing, or I could assign a new local. What is assigning a new local actually more hassle than just doing three little multiplications? And then I think, am I going to write a piece of code that's going to do all that, or am I going to make another s field here, which is size and radians, and make a property, and make this private, you see, I know that that's the good thing to do, 
but I also know these are li tiny internal classes for my own project. This is why I am an incompetent programmer, because these are the questions. So for now, I'm just not going to answer them. I'm sorry, guys. Guys, I'm sorry, reality. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to leave myself a totally cryptic note. Basically, let me just check. That still works after my traffic. I'm not going to solve this problem right now. I do, in my mind, have a big amount of restructuring of my code to do, which uh, I will do. And I just realize I've gone on to 50 minutes. Still working. That's the length. It's much easier to understand if I switch these things on one at a time. Angles still working. Length. Is it a hundred? Yeah, and still working. And grid, beautiful, still working. I had no idea I'd gone on so long. That's a good bit of uh, progress. I am going to stop just now. The next time I'll sort of just complete this piece of code by adding the code that he determines what to do when there are no path segments, which is just actually almost nothing. But then I'll sort this out. At the moment it's just doing a bunch of stuff inside the draw method to find the uh, the closest snap points. That's not the way it should work. I'm demonstrating that my methods work. But for now that's pretty good and I better have a cup of coffee and breakfast. Honestly, that's lovely. Look at them, like a little swarm of teleporting bees. Right? Teleporting bees. <laughs>